all patients that have diabetes end up having damage to their blood vessels. That damage affects the retina, uh, often first and foremost. And so basically diabetic retinopathy is looking at the back of the eye and seeing the damage that's been done to the blood vessels. For my diabetic retinopathy patients, uh, unfortunately, those that have lost significant and severe vision, I really don't have many good tools to treat them. I have the equivalent of a hammer and a saw. And the reality is, is that by using the patient's own cells, stem cells, to actually replace some of the missing cells in the back of the eye, that we may be able to not only prevent further vision loss, but actually uh, rebuild and reconstruct some of the uh, retinal blood vessels that have been lost due to the damage from the diabetes. One of the problems that we have uh, with current stem cell technologies is if there's any damage to them or if they're not gonna work as well, we really have no great way of knowing that ahead of time. One of the uh, findings that we had from our most recent study is that we can actually sort of develop a fingerprint for them. And by establishing that fingerprint of what looks like a good cell, one that we know that's actually going to help the situation, we can know before we're putting those cells in the patient whether they're going to work or not. When I come into the lab, what really sort of motivates and drives me is the fact that you can discover new things, you can discover new treatments. Those rare moments are what being in lab and, and toiling away and, and you know, working at the bench and failing many times is really all about.